Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at uh, the weekly Monday Smash Ultimate Tournament at One Up Games. The, uh, currently, we have Sonic versus Sephiroth, and currently things are tied, just about. Okay, and Sonic has lost a stock due to that forward smash. Okay. All right. Um, Sephiroth took a, or Sonic took a stock. Um, that is an up throw into the dash attack. Another dash attack. Spin dash into um, to up air into uh, forward air. Another spin dash. W uh, waited perfectly for that counter. Another spin dash. And he's gone. One more stock for Sephiroth. Sonic at a cozy 37%. To the up throw. Ooh. Good, uh, good shield in that forward smash. Sephiroth now has one winged angel. Oh, and the Sonic makes it back to stage. Wow, that was really scary. With the, oh, the spring spike. The spring stage spike. First goes to Rymax. Also, thank you to Caden12374 for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. Here we go for round two. Once again, Sonic versus Sephiroth. Sephiroth, the. <laughs> Starting out with Spin Dash into. Um... Oh, and the charge. Oh, charge homing attack. Sephiroth gets the Octa Slash off. Ooh, good dodge. They clash. Another spin dash into homing attack. An octa slash. Oh. Sephiroth now has the um, one winged angel. This is also just about kill percent for Sephiroth, so. Let's see if Voyo can... Okay. And with the down smash, Sonic is currently in the lead. Up throw into normal combo. Sephiroth misses that uh, counter. Or reflect. Another spin dash into neutral air. Another spin dash into back air. Whew. Incredible movement by Rymax. Ooh, and that kills. Sonic still at three so stocks, and Sephiroth now at one.
fully charged spin dash. Oh. There's some really good spacing going on. Wow. Suffer off with the uh, grab and two back throw. He's able to make it back to stage, and the forward smash brings that to 2 0. Thank you very much to Meme the Clown for following. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you very much, Yo Mari, for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. Here we go into winner's round two. We have Sonic versus Kazuya. Let's see. I've never really seen competitive Kazuya before, so I'm really excited to see how this match plays out. Ooh, immediately. Oh! Oh. Axiom knows it's Kazuya for sure. Sonic with a spin dash. Goes for a grab and misses. Another spin dash. It's up throwing. 
Ooh, and the neutral special. Spin dash. Oh, that into a pretty good forward smash, but he did shield. Homing attack. Into another spin dash. And Kazuya does indeed take that first stock. Ooh. I definitely gotta set aside some time to learn all of Kazuya's moves because he has a ton. He is currently in his um this little a I think the little rage mode where let's see if he can do it. Oh he's planning oh no, he fell out of it. Alright, Rymax with the kill. Both are spacing very well. Ooh. The stun. And ooh. The down special. Spin down. Into back air. To the three hit combo. Spin dash from Sonic. Kazuya really wants that stun. Cool. I didn't know we could clip that. And we've clipped that. One sixty four from Rymax, that is a lot of percent. He is not going down without a fight. Getting Axiom up to about a hundred. This could be anyone's game. This is going in anyone's favor. Kazuya gets the um the up air. Really well spacing from both uh, fighters today. Ooh, and the grab. The down special. It hurts every time. Back throw. Into the homing attack. Great amount of shield pressure. Ooh! And Kazuya takes this first round. An amazing show from both players. That was a very good game. All right, here we go with round two. I didn't even realize um, Axiom is rocking my favorite Kazuya skin. The white suit is incredible. But here we go. Sonic and Melee doing damage. Wow, that was a good combo from Rymax. Ooh, two forward grabs back to back. That was an incredible combo. Spin dash into uh, four there. These moving platforms could definitely help Sonic in this scenario. Wow. Rymax just zooming all over the stage. Trying to attack this Kazuya from 
any corner he can. Ooh. Good neutral special. And yes, the chat, Kazuya has amazing skins. They are some of the flashiest. The gold one especially, amazing. This is a very patient match. Both are waiting for their uh, best time to strike. And the back throw, that does kill! Spin dash into home attack. Ooh, into the up air. Really good spin dash. Rymac shaking off all these lasers, Kazuya keeps firing at him. Ooh, and Kazuya gets that with a dash attack. Ooh, the up airs. The up airs from Rymax. Forward grab from Kazuya. And the forward smash from Rymax, wow. Ooh! And the spike with Sonic's down air. Rymax is definitely showing his skills tonight. I completely missed that. Was that a spike hit? Let me go back to that. Let me watch that on the replay. Yeah, that was a spike from Kazuya. Not bad. Ooh, that could have been game. That was a scary... Oh! He's not gone yet. Rymax still has a chance. This could absolutely be anyone's game. Wow. He is not phased at all. Rymax wants this win at any opportunity. goes to Kazuya with the up air. Wins. Start the battle.
By the way, we are broadcasting live from Plainville, Massachusetts, right here for One Up Ultimate. It is every Monday at 7 o'clock. Here we go with uh, winners round two. We have Sora versus Incineroar. Okay, and Sora is already asserting his dominance by being the air fighter. Incineroar, though. Incineroar is able to make it back to stage. Sora with the back throw. Ooh, and the good, and the good side B. Sword with the down air. Three combo from Incineroar. Amazing neutral special usage from Tux. I've never seen anyone use Sword like that. Oh! Oh no, Incineroar's not out yet! But that up special does damage. And that with the star KO, Sora takes stock one. Sora trying his best to get back to stage, and he makes it. Cinerar with the back throw. Almost kills. Sora with the down air. Amazing at recovery as always. Any option is his. He can recover high, middle, or low. It does not matter to Sora. With the dash attack, Incineroar takes Sora's first stock. Incineroar is up 53%. Let's see if he's able to make a comeback. 13, 24. Ooh, down tilt. Sora trying to get back to stage with his neutral special. Side special. Incineroar going for the down throw. Ooh, and he gets the uh, he gets the uh, revenge that he uses to try and take out Sora. They are about equal right now. This could be anyone's stock. And Incineroar takes that stock with a dash attack once more. The revenge. Ooh, that's definitely doing damage. Incineroar has been taken out by Thunder. Ooh, and with the up smash, Incineroar takes it. Here we go into the second round of uh, Winner's Round 2. Once again, it is Sora versus Incineroar. Let's see what happens. 
Cinderor immediately taking Sora for a ride. Wow. 42 off of the first almost 15 seconds. Into the side special. Getting them perfectly every time. I cannot get them perfectly with Incineroar. I do not know the timing on that. Incineroar goes for the side special but misses. Goes for dash attack and misses. But he does get the um, forward aerial. Oh, the back throw. It is satisfying every single time it comes out. Let's see another. Ooh, getting hit by all three of those thunderbolts. And with the back, and with the back air, Incineroar takes stock one. Ooh, the down throw into up special. I've not seen that before. Order. Wow, with the uh, Dark Lariat. Nice parry. Ooh! Into the neutral air. Takes that stock from Sora. Instead of currently at, sitting at three stocks at only 91%. Ooh. An incredible uh, side B. And Sora SDs. Incineroar takes this match. Very good. Alright, here we go into the winner's quarterfinals. We have Roy versus Ness. Amazing pressure by both of them already.
Alright, he's getting them. Both, they are exchanging hits very frequently. This is very even so far. The PK Thunder. Back throw from Ness. Tried to land the PK Fire. Amazing edge guard using that yo yo. And with the star KO, Ness takes the first stock. Oh, and with the back air, Roy takes a stock from Ness. Just about equaling it up again. To the forward throw, into the PK Thunder. Side special from Roy. Both are here to win. This is an intense match between the two. Another PK Thunder brings him back on stage. Hits him out. Another PK Thunder brings him back on the stage. And with the back throw, that's stock two. One of the best back throws in the game. It is deadly. If you're at 1 120% next to the uh, stage, you're gone. That's how insane that back throw is. Ooh, with the down special into the down throw. Another, ooh, ooh. With the PK Pulse? Okay. Another back throw from Brodette into the PK Thunder. Into the up air. That doesn't kill quite yet. Roy make it back to stage. And they exchange hits. And Brodette takes that first match. Okay, Chippy's going Sonic. Another Sonic main tonight. Let's see what he can do. Will this be enough to stand up to Brodette's nest? Let's find out. Ness immediately going for the offense. Getting any opportunity to hit Chippy. Three hit combo from Chippy. Misses a grab. Goes for the spin dash into the homing attack. And Sonic makes makes it back to stage. Thank goodness. That was really close. And thanks to the platform, Sonic makes it only for a second. Nice taking that first stock. And only up 45%. That's very good. Guy's taking a bit of shield damage from Sonic, though. Okay, into the down throw from Sonic. PK Thunder is able to make it past the spike. I was not sure if that would work. To the homing attack. Back throw again from Ness. PK Thunder, it's going for him. They got him. Sonic just kind of firing out forward smashes. Hoping one of them hits. Ooh, and with the back air, that does damage. Making it back to stage once more. 137% to 90. And yep, there it is, the back throw into the star KO. I told you, that back throw is nasty.
PK Thunder. And with the, um... Oh, he's taunting! He's taunting! Chippy is... <laughs> Chippy's definitely having fun with this match. The homing attack. Oh, okay, into the uh, down throw. Into spin dash. Oh, no, it gets cancelled out by down special. Homing attack, it misses. Back throw from Sonic, also an incredible back throw. Both have very strong back throws. He's taunting once more. Oh, in the read, he gets the stock! What a play. And immediately loses to Ness. But that was a good play, I will give him that. He goes out with a bang for sure. Ness takes this. We're now here in the winnie the winner's semifinals. We have Kazuya versus Diddy Kong. Axiom is back once more. Let's see if his Kazuya can continue raining on. Oh, he'll rain on. Oh, he'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll rain on for sure. <clears throat> Immediately going with the uh the Thunder Fist, making sure to get any necessary stun he can to guarantee this. A little bit of the three hit, uh, the ten hit combo. Melon Top, good evening, how are you? Nice to see you. Yes, I'm here with the infamous Jason Jack. That is me. I Jason. am announcing my first ever Smash game. Oh, his shield breaks! Into the up air. Wow. He didn't survive. He did not survive very well on that one. Though. That, that... Any, anytime Kazuya gets a big hit, it, it just leaves me speechless. Thank you very much, Mountain Top. It means a lot. Mountain Top was with us on uh, Thursday. So yes, that's, that's who that is. And I have, I have his phone number. Oh yeah. Yeah, because oh, okay. I do, <laughs> do in fact have his business card, and that's how I got here in the first place. So JD is is, is a primarily uh, Diddy Kong main. Mm -hmm. he, de he definitely sticks with Ooh. Diddy for a while, and he's, and he's still with him. Yes, using the item to um to stun off Kazuya and get him with the uh, forward smash. I see him definitely dominates them with, with uh, Kasia. He's, I don't know. He, he's doing good, but they're a little equal. No. Yeah, we'll, see well there's a the thunder. Like into the oh, okay, into the up smash. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He'll 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 last through this bracket, no doubt. Thank you for the message highlight. That is indeed me. <laughs> Ooh. Incredible movement from Kazia. Did he come making it back to stage? Let's see what he can do. Oh, there it is. That's my favorite. That's the only Kazuya move I know. It's the whirlwind. Looks like a drop kick to me. That's what it is. It's kind of it's kind of similar. Is, he goes into it. Yeah, and he does a couple spinning ones. They're so much fun to do. It's an amazing um, pressure opportunity. And with the up special, Kazuya takes the first round. Where would they go for round two? 
They're Final they're Destination. Final, Final Destination. It might be I'm, Final I'm, Destination. I'm, oh, oh. No, we're going to Kalos. Diddy Kong versus Kazuya once again. No one's switching characters. We'll see if JD has the potential to bring this back. Immediately with the grab into the Thunder Fist. Into another grab. Axiom not slouching whatsoever. With with the grab. Owens hits him with that uh neutral B. Both are about equal. Another grab from Diddy Kong. Pulls out the banana. You can't say that too often, though. Pulls out the banana. <laughs> what else? What else will you will you say that in a, in a match? It is fair. Diddy Kong is the only character that uses a banana, unless you play of items. So, for Diddy Kong, it's okay to bring out a banana. And to the up smash, Axiom takes a stock. And there goes his banana. Well, he has another one. Oh. He's holding on to that banana for sure. Into the ooh ooh into the thunder fist. Diddy Kong wasting that banana sadly, but he will definitely be able to get one back. There it is. Kazuya now in his little rage mode. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, and he does get the trip. Into like the ooh, into the up special. See that red around him though does look like. There it is. Boom! Oh, beautiful move. <laughs> At a hundred percent, Kazuya can do extra knockback with his um down special. That's why he starts glowing red. Ah, oh, got it. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You going to grab the banana? Oh, with the parry! Ooh! And Once like more. That, Ox Axiom takes Kazuya is absolutely wild, and that was a match. Axiom takes it. While we wait, I just want to mention one more time that we are broadcasting from Plainville, Massachusetts today. This is One Up Ultimate every Monday at 7 o'clock. Thank you for watching. And we are currently waiting on our next match right now, though, so we are holding off for a minute because uh, we have to see who the uh, results are between DM and Kite. And that winner will face Brodette. So that is who we are waiting on. So we might have a quick, um, quick pause for a minute, so we will be right back.
Here we go. Uh, winner semifinal. We have DM and Brodette. DM bringing out the Steve. I have never seen a competitive Steve player, so this will be really interesting. You have not. Okay, well, his DM is very good with Steve, though. He, he, he switches between his primary with Pikachu, then he went to Steve, and then he's been playing for a very long time the Pyro Mike for a bot. Mm -hmm. When he plays with Steve, he's very good with it, though. Okay. He's definitely showing off. Okay. So, if your first competitive Steve watcher, though, uh, DM's a good one to watch. Very good. He's able to consistently get materials and do damage to Ness, which is something that, I mean, I can't do, so that's already impressive. Oh, is that a spike? And the spike! He threw that minecart out of Ooh! I saw that it's just a minecart, and then we tossed it right out of him. Like, get in that car, get, <laughs> yeah, get out, out of here. here! Get your ass out of here off that stage. <laughs> Building, oh, he has the gold. He has the gold items. Did he get a diamond? He did pick up a diamond, so at any moment he could make those diamonds and make that even more powerful. Using the minecart once more. He's able to juggle. Constantly play some blocks to get an amazing stage advantage. Going for a forward smash. Gets him with the uh, back throw. Come on. Oh, and he did have a little bit of redstone, so he's able to charge that minecart. Into the up smash, and there's your diamond sword. It's time. Let's see how much damage this bad boy can do. Ooh, into the down throw. Ooh! He is comboing him. 70% immediately. Getting in the minecart, immediately spiking him back down. Better be careful. Oh, yep. Thank you very much for that compliment, someone or whatever. I appreciate we appreciate that. Thank you very much. Trying to break the shield, and with the forward smash, Steve takes that first round. What a great nice what a nice compliment. I appreciate that. That is very sweet. Thank you very much. Okay, so is he is is DM gonna stick with? Brodette yeah. is a is a is an only Ness main. I have not seen Brodette play anybody else other than Ness. So that tells me that DM is probably going to stick with um, Steve for, for for round two. But we'll see. He could surprise him. He could throw out the pyromite. Oh, they're changing the song for this one. They're playing the Advent version version of um, One Wing and Angel. That is a blessing. Such an amazing song, but I will not be able to hear it. But here we go again. We're running it back with Steven Ness. I'm so glad they get to enjoy this song, though. I can kind of hear it out there. Wow. <laughs> wow. The 47 immediately with that juggle. Getting some materials while we wait for Ness to catch back up. Currently at 0%. Getting some more materials. Took a little bit of damage. Now has gold materials, and he has—he does have a diamond, so at any opportunity, he can whip out the diamond materials again. Going for the up special, let's get back on stage. Getting caught by that. So any diamond materials that Steve throws out there, though, is, 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 is such a point, and, and strong attacks, I assume. Right? Yes. Like, yeah, yeah it's, if you've played Minecraft, it's exactly like it goes yeah, from Yeah, no, what, I know the yeah. diamond swords and stuff like that, but that's... Uh, it's exactly how it plays in uh, Ultimate. I believe gold is faster, just like in Minecraft 2, but it's not um, not as powerful and uh, not as durable. As the diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the diamond is, is definitely your best choice. And uh, Ness does take that first stock. Yeah, this this is, for seeing my first competitive Steve, this is an amazing competitive Steve to watch. Mostly because I don't know the first thing about Steve, so seeing anyone being able to master this character is just like, whoa to me. Amazing. Oh, into the back air. He fishing for a little yeah, he's bit. going fishing. He's <laughs> he, going fishing he, for Ness. He, he was trying to. He was trying to, but he missed that on those couple of rounds. Oh, 
It's like he's swinging the air. Yeah, he's going for something. What, 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 like, swat, like swatting a fly or something. <laughs> maybe, there's some, maybe something distracted him. He's back. Here we go. Both currently at two stocks, with the advantage going to Broda. <laughs> Ooh. Doesn't kill, though. PK Pulse, that misses. Can he get back to stage? He indeed can. To the forward throw. Oh, oh, he almost fell in the minecart. Steve trying to fish again. To the back throw by Ness. Doesn't kill. Steve receives a recover. And with the forward smash, Steve takes that second stock. Ooh. Oh, and he's lost his uh, pickaxe. But he is completely trying to space him out. And he does it! Oh, the edge guard! How incredible! Dude, that's like that's that's just like no, you ain't you ain't. Yeah, getting, no, that that's a complete just. You out. ain't getting above me, man. It's just like no, you're stuck underneath. And mine. then for sheer style points as a finisher, Steve builds a house. Bonus points to that right there. It's <laughs> like you you like I'm gonna create this like imaginary walkway, and your ass ain't getting above it. It's like you're screwed. Just get down and lose. <laughs> with that, let's see who's next. Are we going to the winners' finals? Yes. All so right. We'll be moving on to winners. We are now moving on to the winners' finals. We have Axiom versus DM. This is what to, what to watch. Yeah, this is going to be an amazing match. I am ready. Yes. So what you? This is t a t usual winners finals. That final little that winners finals that we see. And all those here is what we tend to see. That was they always find themselves back against each other in the grands. So what we're gonna see. Oh, and, and DM is sticking with his. Steve. He's still playing Steve, and that's very interesting. He's just sitting there, and they both did they homie stalking? They homie stalking? Or they so somebody made a mistake. So uh, they're, they're they're DQing the, the this first match here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yep. So it's DQ. That's okay. So somebody made a mistake here. So let's see what the fix is. Maybe maybe DM wasn't going to be Steve. He meant to be Pyro Maybe. Let's see. If, let's see. The, if that was a change. Back to Pokemon Stadium too. Perhaps controls were off. That always happens. Oh, we've got to flip them again. Yeah, that was why they are flipped. And let's flip this. Alright, and they are back. Kazuya using a different skin, while Steve uses the same good old Steve skin. Ooh, with a throw into the, th the Thunder Fist. Steve juggling. Thank you very much for the compliment, Meme the Clown. It means a lot. Steve doing incredible chip away damage to Kazuya, but Kazuya can make that bad move in a second. If there's something Kazuya can do, it's create damage. That 10 hit combo, if you hold the A button for those like 10 seconds, it's out. That's 40%. Ooh, with, with the throw. It is dangerous to get close to Steve, because he has amazing ways to zone you out. Wow, with the parry! Into the up special, takes away Steve's first stock. Ooh, the Thunder Fist. Trying his hardest to hit Steve, but Steve is definitely trying his, hard, his hardest. And Kazuya loses that stock, because that side B ain't the greatest. The parry from Steve. That skin, though, for Kazuya, though, is like the full-on, like, boxer skin, though. Oh, like, yeah. I, that's versus, versus his, uh, what, what was that one called? Oh. Mystic skin? That's got, like, the full-on trench coat. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, his little suit that he wears. Yeah, this is definitely his more... Um, fighting yeah, style? Yeah, his fighting attire, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a different color, though. I do not know for sure, because I'm trying to remember what his original pants color is. Steve does have gold. Ooh, that is a wonderful mix-up. 
Oh, I thought he was stuck in the box. <laughs> Ooh, 147 to Steve right now, and 93 to Kazuya. A diamond from Steve, so if he's able to get to his crafting bench, he's able to make something good. The Thunder Fist into the up special once more. There's the diamond. This is where things get fun. With the back air, it's now 1-1. DM up a little bit percent, but that could change almost instantly. 34 with the Thunder Fist. See, oh, that's a throw. It was a very clean kill by Axiom. Axiom is amazing for getting very uh, quick, concise kills with uh, Kazuya. Another throw. Can he give us one more Thunder Fist? Both players trying their hardest. Kazuya now does have his little rage mode, so at any moment he could win with the um, down special. Whoa! Kazuya hits the minecart that goes back into the TNT. If you are asking where you are, you are currently watching from. We are uh, live from Plainville, Massachusetts. You are watching One Up Ultimate every Sunday. Monday. Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday. I got my days confused. Every Monday, my mistake, at 7. DM. At first that did go to DM. DM. Interesting. Not what I was expecting, though, but... Oh, they're choosing music again. It always, I'm always excited when they choose the music. That's how you know they're here to fight. Prince Pucci, is this a trick question for us, though? Where where, where are you? That's... Yes, this is... Uh... Your typical Monday night uh, one-up ultimate stream. We have our special guest here tonight. The man, the myth, the legend, Jason Jett. That is me. I am Jason Jett. Tonight. I have I have decided to commentary. To commentate, yes. And now here we are at Battlefield. Once again with Steve and Kazuya. Kazuya going back to my favorite skin. That's the one. That's the typical one yeah. that Axiom plays. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's the one I play too. It reminds me of uh, Kiryu from Yakuza. Oh, you fear something. What do you? What's the matter, Prince Pucci? What do you fear? Tell us. Let us know what you fear. I'm currently fearing this matchup. <laughs> A Thunder Fist into the up special once more. Steve trying to zone out. Cause you're getting right back in there with another throw into the Thunder Fist. To the back air. Steve taking him for a ride. Welcome to the chat, Maroon Junebug. Uh, XP, June Bugs SXP. He's got the iron. Ooh, amazing juggling. And ooh, with the with the uh, buffed down special, it does damage, but it's not able to get rid of Steve just yet. able to make stone tools. Let's see if that can do anything. Now that Kazuya is up two stocks and Steve is down to his last stock. Ooh. Trying his hardest to break that shield. And he's getting there. That is some shield pressure. And speaking of shields, there's the shield break from Kazuya. How is he going to finish this? With the forward smash! Amazing play from it both of them. It looks like at the beginning break before he hit that smash, though, he had like a little taunt for a minute. He had like like a two second taunt where he was just doing something though, and then he was just like, oh, yeah. give him that smack and done. Fun fact, Kazuya's side taunt actually does damage. Oh, okay. So, it makes it kind of viable. We're going to the Northern Cave. Will they pick, will they pick Advent Children, One Winged Angel, once more? No, where are they heading now? Yoshi's Story? No, not quite Town and City. Boxing Ring? I don't think the boxing ring is tournament legal. Oh, they're playing Tekken music. Oh, he's getting in the mood. Once more with Steve, and once more with Kazuya. Once again, rocking the absolute best skin. Let's see what happens. 
Tazio immediately breaking off Steve's um, blocks he's placed, trying to get away. And Steve's able to make it back to stage even though he uses his up special of Thunder Fist from Kazuya. Into the down special. This game is absolutely close. It's one to one. This can go either way. And it's exciting. Ooh, with the up special once more, Kazuya takes a stock. He's very consistent with that. Another down special from Kazuya. Steve, once again, trying to get some materials, as Kazuya is planning. Steve's able to make iron, but it's not going to stop Kazuya. Ooh. With the oh, special oh. once more, yeah. that's a good read. He say, looks like he said no way to that mine. <laughs> Neutral special, trying to get some chip damage, and with the TNT, it's not enough to get rid of him, though. He now has his little... Oh, and another TNT gets rid of them both. He lost his stock yes. on, on his own to yes. that TNT. Well, that sucks. And he got the star KO from that, too. So Axiom now at two stocks, Steve at one. Steve making it back to stage. Here they go again. Now has stone materials. And he has enough for iron. Well, Kazuya is trying to break through. Letting Steve do this is very dangerous because he could get a diamond and possibly end this game. That is a Thunder Fist, though. And that's the back throw! Oh, that was like, almost like a, like, a, almost like a wrestling move to me for a minute. They're very cinematic, and I love that they um, change the camera every single time you do a throw of Kazuya. He does have his potential for the upgraded down uh, down special. Will he do it? He's trying. Will he be able to make it back to stage? Yes, he will. No, he will. Oh, yes, he will. I forgot that was his double jump. I forget how amazing his double jump is. Kazuya has insane recovery from being um, a really close quarters fighter. And he has been knocked out of that um, power form, so he's not able to get that upgraded. Uh-oh. Ooh, with the stun. Able to get away from that TNT. Kazuya going in the minecart, but not for very long. Wow. And with with that... Axiom takes game number Axiom two. Axiom takes that. I'm so game number three, excuse me. Yeah, that is game number three, leaving him to be in the grand finals. This one, no, no, this one's best of five. This one's best of five, my yes. mistake. He's not done just yet. No, they keep, they keep going. Have a great evening, Mountaintop. It was amazing to have you. Hope you have an amazing rest of your night. You can absolutely ask for my autograph. I'm here every Monday. <laughs> he's changing skins. He might play a different Steve skin. He's, he, skin. he's doing the zombie. The creeper. Once more, trying to space out the Kazuya. The Kazuya immediately going in. He's not messing around this time with the Thunder Fist. Into the aerial. Ooh, with the up special knocking him right out of the minecart. He does not currently have the, enough materials for a minecart. But he is trying to juggle. Ooh, the parry! With the down special, immediately taking him out. Because he is now up a stock, while Steve has his stone tools. And he has TNT. And the pressure plate. Will that come in handy? Let's find out. Kazuya is in that little rage mode, so at any opportunity, he could do this. hes I know he's thinking about it. He's absolutely thinking about it. It's a fun move to pull off, so I don't blame him. He's thinking about it. Oh, there it is! Oh, and the oh, and the screen KO too. He's also wave dashing on him and immediately takes a stock from. Immediately gets his uh, stock taken from him. 
Zombie taking him up to the edge. With another Thunder Fist. He's very consistent at those. This is a man that knows his Kazuya. He's also a man that knows his Steve. These are two incredible fighters today. Ooh, with the parry. Into the juggle. Into the up special. Ooh. It's one stock each with diamond. That could do anything. This is a very interesting matchup because one is like the ultimate zoner. And, and that's oh game! <laughs> <laughs> uh, one is an amazing close quarters fighter while one is an incredible zoner. So it is a very fun matchup. And now three to one. So, uh, so action takes that. Yep. And puts yep. the Axiom. down into the loser's bracket. So now we are going to move over and see where we're at. So we looks like folks may have another minute before we have our next match. So we will be right back. All right, here we go with the losers round number four. We have Incineroar versus. It looks like it's going to be England. Yeah, that, that's. We got to switch that. Bam, bam. Chippy typically is England. Got it. That's his primary man. All right, let's see what he can do with England because I've also never really seen a competitive England either. A lot of these players are playing characters I've not seen competitively, and that makes it so much more fun. I love it when people play characters that um aren't the huge or like in the mid tiers. I think that's so much fun to me. Incineroar up to 74 as Inkling just completely is just completely destroying him currently. Nah, maybe not. Incineroar has got some moves though. Incineroar can do damage. If Incineroar can do something, it's damage. If you need a quick comeback, that's what Incineroar is for. With the parry? Into the dash attack. Into the perfect side B, and that kills. Chipping on down a stock. But getting some of that pressure reapplied to Incineroar. Oh, he's able to get out of that bomb. And he does lose a stock, though, because Incineroar's recovery isn't all that great. On the stage, Incineroar is a monster. Off the stage, Incineroar does struggle a bit. He does miss that throw. I, oh, he got the revenge off the bomb. Very smart. Ooh, down throw. To another bomb. That he's able to recover it back to stage. With the um, forward throw. To another bomb that does miss. Inkling doing incredible damage. Does uh, end up killing him. Now down to one stock. Let's see what happens. Will Incineroar be able to make a comeback? Or will this first round go to Chippy? With how much he's chipping away at Incineroar, it could be all down to Chippy. He's able to make it back to stage, thank goodness, because he is low on ink. He does recharge on ink, though. That is good. 
I want to make it back. Incineroar gets with the dash attack. Incineroar does get hit by the bomb. And with the up air, Inkling takes that first round. And they are now going on to uh, the second match with the exact same characters on Battlefield now. Let's see what happens. Immediately getting the uh, side special. Both are exchanging hits very well. Incineroar was attempting to go for a spike. That'd be really interesting. Another up air for, into the back air from Inkling. Oh, I almost got that bomb. Wow, what a pummel. What a pummel. Going for the pummel once more into the up, uh, to the up grab. One six, 176 from Incineroar and he's not going down. Alright, he is going down with that. Down smash. And and the bomb. That was a really good um double up from the inkling. Good old chippy. Good <laughs> Incineroar getting absolutely well, they not that zoned. He's able to he was able to get that side special. He was able to miss that side special as well. Which is good because that roller does hurt. Chippy currently uh he has a little bit of ink left. Let's see if he's able to make it back. Yes he is. Incineroar goes for the back throw. Does insane damage as always. An insane knockback, but it is not enough to kill. Inkling is able to make it back to stage. Ooh. Does have him buried into the up smash that doesn't kill. It gets close, though. Incineroar is tanky. And the bomb that ends up killing him off. All right. Chippy up three stocks, well, uh, Incineroar, and let's change that. Chippy's now up two stocks while Incineroar is on their final. Chippy once more, trying uh, their best to get Incineroar absolutely inked, because that does do um, increased damage. Ooh, okay. This very well still could be anyone's match. Dash attack from Incineroar. Inkling still using side B, but is now currently out of ink. Let's see how that plays for them. They get a little bit of ink back. Trying to go, trying to go for the shield pressure. Oh, okay, down throw into that. To the uh, forward air. And with the forward smash, Chippy takes it.
While we wait for this next match, I just want to let you know that we are broadcasting live from Plainville, Massachusetts. Welcome to 1UP Ultimate, every Monday at 7pm, right here on Twitch. Or in person, if you'd like to compete. I, would, I do need to do this, though. Next up in the losers quarterfinals, we have Beef and Brodette. Beef is playing Sonic, and uh, Brodette is playing Ness once more. Let's see what these two can do. Sonic absolutely avoiding um, Brodette at all costs. He is trying to get in there. He's unable to, though. Wow, with the four throw from Ness. He's now taking some. He's now taking some damage. With the homing attack, wow. And the PK Thunder is able to bring it back. Another homing attack. Forward smash from Sonic. Sonic trying for more forward smashes. It is a very quick move, so it's a move that's able to be used a lot without uh, much repercussion. PK, er. Uh, uh, Brodo trying to use the PK Thunder and gets him with the up special. The up smash, my fault. Sonic once again going for more spin dashes. PK Thunder from Ness. He's got some shield damage on him. PK Thunder into, um... Oh, and the PK Pulse! Back throw from Sonic. Uh, is unable to kill, though. Back air from Ness, and that does damage. Alright. Sonic takes a stock. I do believe that Sonic's down tilt, that little donkey kick he does. I'm not positive, though. Another spin dash from Beef. Another spin dash from Beef. A fake out spin dash into another spin dash. Uh, that's a really good shield pressure. Ooh, the up smash once more from Brodette takes a stock. Both 0-0. Zero, zero. Brodette leading by one stock. Both keeping their distance from each other until absolutely necessary. Ooh, the PK fire to the uh, forward air. Alright, the down tail into the spin dash. Another spin dash from uh, Beef. Ooh, 
throw that shielding, but he goes into PK fire. Beef now shielding, and the back throw, but it does not kill. The back air, but it also does not kill. And making it back to stage without even having to use the PK Thunder. Wow. PK Pulse! He's not able to end with the PK Pulse, but anytime getting a PK Pulse is impressive. And the back throw, as I said, a dangerous back throw. Broda takes this first round. Moving to Northern Cave. What song would they pick this time? Genova. That's a that's a guilty pleasure song of mine. Oh, actually, they're not choosing Genova. They are choosing Genova. Love that song. <laughs> not to confuse us, though, but. <laughs> <laughs> He's changing up the color. He's now using the uh, Black Sonic skin. As Ness is still rocking the amazing menu uh, background uh, for his um, shirt. Fully charged Spin Dash from Beef. Does not do much with it though, but he has another one charged up. Ness going in with the down throw. Another Spin Dash from Beef. Another Spin Dash from Beef. Both applying very good pressure to each other. Uh, roughly about equal in terms of percent. Getting with the edge guard with the uh, down smash, but is unable to do um, any damage with it. Gets it back. Oh, the PK Thunder! Sonic is able to make it back to stage with that spring. Ooh, the forward smash almost gets him. And Sonic is out of here. Or at least down one stock due to that amazing read. Is that two PK fires? I've never seen someone combo it like that. Very interesting move from uh, Broda here. A PK Thunder. Another PK Thunder from uh, Broda. Ooh, into the uh, forward air. Maybe the back air. Sometimes I get those confused. I will continue to do knowledge on characters. There's a reason why I play random. Ooh! Into the down special. I've never seen someone use back throw for that. Interesting. Sonic does whiff the homing attack, though. But he is able to make it back with the uh, air dodge. Ness. Ooh, almost breaking shield. Uh, oh, the forward throw this time. I thought that was going to be another back throw. Those back throws are scary. Both at very high percents. Anyone could lose a stock at this very moment. Let's see. Sonic. Le oh! And with the ledge guard, Broda takes round two.
Yeah. Next up for the loser quarterfinal, we have JD versus Chippy. Diddy Kong is back at it again with the Inkling as well. Chippy was able to win the uh, last match. Let's see how he's able to fare this time against this Diddy Kong. Mm, the banana is there, but it has not been tripped. To oh, Inkling grabbing the banana. Potentially to use it against Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong grabs the banana once more. He does throw it. It doesn't really do much. Oh, no, there's the trip. Oh, and Diddy... Whoa! Diddy Kong with the desperation to try and get rid of Inkling, but it did not work, sadly. And then with the um, up smash, Diddy, Diddy Kong takes a stock. We are now almost equal. Inkling going in for the side special. Does land it. Trying to get the uh, forward smash. It's an amazing um, exchange. Ooh, and with the up air, takes out Diddy Kong's second stock. Diddy Kong once again brings out the banana in the attempt to trip the Inkling. And actually lands it! And Diddy Kong now does what Diddy Kong does best and goes. Ooh, with the um, up special explosion. Almost getting the uh, side special off there from Inkling. Oh, and the, and the screen KO. Wow, I did not know that was going to kill. Both at one stock. Uh, JD's up 74%. Once again, this could be anyone's game. Don't take Chippy lightly. Chippy is a very good inkling. That was a parry, but he can't parry them all. Diddy Kong getting the uh, side special. Once again with the banana. Does take the up special, though. And with an up smash, that is game with the screen KO. First round goes to Chippy. Seems we have some fans for Chippy. That's always good. It's good to have your fans. Hopefully Chippy knows you guys are giving him your support. And I hope you're here to watch him probably take this next um, this next match. But we don't know. But we are once again rocking Diddy Kong and Inkling. Let's see how this match plays out. Immediately with the um, the jab combo. Really good movement from Diddy Kong there. Should be able to recharge some of his ink. Ooh, almost. Wait, the bomb. Now the bomb didn't do it because Diddy Kong was able to make it back to stage, but that is a pummel. Into another down special that almost works, but Diddy Kong was able to shield that. Diddy Kong once again with the banana. Into the up smash, which takes rid of Diddy Kong's first stock. Should be at 65% and three stocks. with the berry, but is unable to do anything off that berry, but it's a berry nonetheless. Mm. 
Diddy Kong with the side special. Will he be able to take out one of Chippy's stocks soon? Oh! With the back air. Try to go for the side special. Getting jabbed by um, the Inkling. Chippy at 129 is still hanging on. Side special, is that enough? Not quite. Good knockback, but not enough. Oh, but with that, Diddy Kong takes a stock. It is 88 to 6 now. 15. Inkling getting that extra damage on the Diddy Kong. With the up throw. Into the up air. Wow. That is a very strong up air. Chippy has been killing with that very consistently. He does get tripped up, though, by Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong now. <gasps> Diddy Kong spiked. Oh, Diddy Kong got the spike. It is 1 1, just about equal. This could, this could go anyone's way. I knew that spike was coming out. I felt it in me. That's a very fun spike to pull off. Let's see if he can do it again. Almost anyone's game. Ooh, almost landed that forward smash. That could have been it. Diddy Kong now completely purple and can take a lot more damage from Inkling. Like so. Up to 99, 119, 120. Tries to land the explosion with the up special, but is not able to do so. Has a banana, doesn't matter. That is an up smash, and that goes to Chippy. Very amazing performance by those two. We are now in the loser's semifinals with Brodet versus Chippy. Chippy once again going back to back matches with Inkling. Brodet using Ness once more. This is definitely going to be a fun game. These characters use a lot of projectiles, and I'm really interested to see how this goes. Um, Inkling getting the jab off on Ness. Inkling. Firing out whatever move is possible. And that's getting the forward throw. Into the um, back air. Into another back air. Yes, um, Chippy's name is in fact a One Piece reference to the uh, the ship, the Thousand Sunny. And I, I, I caught on to that. I did think that was really fun. Um, but back to the game. Uh, Ness is now going up to 84% while Chippy is down to 18%. Ness trying to absorb that, but unable to. Another bomb. Will he try it again? No, he's getting the PK Thunder. 
Into the up throw. Into the up, um, up air. Screen KOs. Inkling once more. Trying to um, get as much damage as possible on Broda. It's very consistent. You are correct, uh, Liddy Jai. Jay. Either or. Um, it's very consistent. I've been watching Chibi this entire evening, and it's a very consistent um, up air. Chibi down a stock, though. Brodak currently um, leading with two stocks and 28%. Chibi can absolutely make a comeback, though. Kenji definitely... Kenji whipping out 57%, though, so that comeback is going to be a lot a lot harder on Chippy, but it is still manageable. Both playing at their absolute peak right now. Chippy getting the, um, the jab. Broduck getting the PK fire. Into the up air once more. Chibi does need to be cautious about their ink, though, because that is up, oh, and I spoke too soon as they are now recharging it. Very good. With the forward throw, sun flying a little bit, PK fire. And that is the first match. Goes to Brita. Looks like we got a follower again, too. Yes, we did. Oh, we've gotten a few followers. I'm sorry. Let's catch up on that while we wait. Um. Asian Captain 5, thank you very much for the follow. Mango75577, thank you very much for the follow. Liddy JJ, I'm still very sorry if I'm pro uh, pronouncing that wrong. You can correct me at any time. Thank you very much for the follow. And 8 Bit Fitness, thank you very much for the follow. Everyone's followers are greatly appreciated. And a no nest November. Well, that, that, that ain't going to be Burnett's thing, though. As long as he's here, we will have nest stuff for sure. We will always have a nest. You cannot get rid of the nest. You've arrived for Chippy. Well, you're here just in time. As we go into round two, both playing. <laughs> Let's see if Chippy can destroy this little child with psych psychokinetic powers. Jai is how it's pronounced? Okay, I will keep that in mind. Just double checking, just trying to be respectful to usernames. Currently equal. Just about. Chippy getting some damage. Up to 64 on Ness. With the bomb, Ness is unable to absorb that though because the side special coming right at him. Chippy able. Ooh, Chippy's out of ink, but he's able to make it back to stage thanks to that PK Thunder. This one's a best of three. This one is best of three already. Until we get to the finals, it is indeed best of three. But once we head into the finals, we'll be heading to the loser's final shortly. That will be a best of five. Chibi was able to take a stock off of Nesto, and Ness is currently absorbing, even though it doesn't really matter because he's at 0%. Chibi once again getting the jab in, trying to get as much damage on the Ness as possible. Once again with the jab, again up to 73. That's starting to get high up there, that's almost kill percent. A little bit of a pummel into um, up throw. Ooh, and with the um, the aerial, Ness does take that stock. However, he's currently up 100 and with a down smash is easily taken out. Both now have 0%, but Chippy is up a stock. Let's see if he can keep that lead. Once again, getting the jab. It was a very good conversion. The back throw from Ness. And 
England, once again, waiting patiently, letting Ness fire out whatever's necessary until they take their strike. It's 101 to 90. Chippy's still up a stock. Ness attempted to go for that forward smash, which is a very dangerous forward smash, but was unable to get that read. With the bomb. Chippy does need to be aware of their ink. It is getting a little low, but I think they are well aware. With the pummel into the back throw, recharges the ink. There you go. Uh, with the back throw, Ness does take a stock, but Ness is up to 136, as Chippy is at zero. We could get a zero to death. I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure either player could do that. The back air from Inkling. And is able to make it back to stage with a double PK Thunder. 166. I've never seen a Ness hang on for that long, but it doesn't matter for much longer because Chippy takes that match. It is now 1-1, one one, folks. This could be anyone's game. This is a very close one. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh, choose a final destination, because this is indeed the final destination for one of them. And they are going back, because they might be changing stages. They're changing the song. Ooh, what song are they going to play? There, he's playing it. Oh, is he going to play an Earthbound song? Playing a Fire Room song. Story 5 meeting. I do not remember that song. I do not know the song counterpick. Absolutely. It's my favorite thing. I love it when they choose the songs. Alright, final match for the loser semifinals. We have Brodad um, versus Chippy once more. Once again, rocking their mains. Brodad is maining Ness, and Chippy is maining Inkling. Both are exchanging hits very quickly. The PK Thunder, maybe, not quite. Into the pummel and the back throw, into the down special, and almost a down smash. From Chippy. It's getting a little hard to commentate. I'm focusing too much too. I'm interested in this. That is the um, neutral special from Chippy. Just about equal. And almost gets that down smash, but not quite. Thank you for I, we, we see your uh, ad redemption though, but we're not gonna do it right now though. Uh, bestie though, but we'll, we'll but we'll do what well, we will run it though. Thank you for the uh, for the uh, coin redemption. Can't miss this action now. Chip currently up three stocks as Brodad is down two two and is now getting. Pummel. Well, no, it's, that's not the pummel. That is the neutral special. And to another neutral special. Make sure to rack up as much damage as possible onto that Ness. And there's your pummel. And, but Ness is able to break free. Into the up smash, Ness does end up taking a stock. PK Thunder from Ness. Another PK Thunder from Ness. Will he do three? Maybe not. Currently about equal in terms of uh, stocks and percent. Once again, could be anyone's game. Is able to get that massive heal from the bomb, though. That's a back throw from Inkling with a bomb. Charging up their ink a little bit with the down tilt. And boom! Down smash into a KO. Ness now, now down to one stock, but Chippy is up into the hundreds on their second stock, so it wouldn't take too much to um, take down the stock advantage. Yeah. 
Ness is able to get that heal once more. Those heals are very impactful. Now down to all the way down to 19%. Should be once more being patient. With the aerial. Ooh, and the PK fire. But with the reed and the aerial, Chippy's now down to their last stock. But so is Ness. Once again, this could be anyone's game, and this is a very close game to participate. Thank you very much, everyone, too, who's currently watching as we are in the loser semifinals. Chippy currently has the percent advantage, but let's see how long that can last. Oh! Almost! Side special into that is always very, very strong. And there it is! With the screen KO, Chippy takes the loser's semifinals, moving on to the loser's finals. Now, as we move on to the loser's finals, I will redeem that ad. Or we'll, we'll play the ad that you've redeemed. Once I remember where the ads are. There they are. And the ad took longer than expected. They are already in the match. Thankfully, not a whole lot has happened as we are down only 15 seconds. But they are about equal stock-wise. DM playing Pikachu and Inkling one er, and Chibi once we're playing Inkling. I am back in the commentating. Had to take a small break, but that's okay. Should be currently at 113 and DM at 51. And ad didn't play. Whoa. Maybe we'll play one um in a minute. Maybe we'll play one after the grand finals. Just one more before we head up. But for those who didn't get the ad, well, that's good. He didn't miss much of the action. And with the down smash, Pikachu does take that first stock off of Chippy. Pikachu and Pikachu mains are something that absolutely scare me. Whew. Amazing comboing from um, DM right there. Wow. This is a loser's final, so this is a best out of five. So this one could go on for a while. Pikachu with the uh, down throw. And the up. The up on stage. I didn't know that was viable. Yeah, it is. It's doing damage. Should be making it back to stage. Pikachu is able to take that stock though with an up smash. Into the um, normal throw. Ooh. 
This Pikachu is combos, but it does get a stock taken away from the Inkling. Once again, using the up special. I've never seen anyone use the up special on stage. That is very interesting to see. Inkling trying their best to get um, as much damage on that Pikachu as possible. Pikachu is not letting up. And the Thunder, but it does miss. Oh, and not quite. The Inkling is still here to stay. At 126% on their last stock. Pikachu at 64% on their second stock. With a parry. Platforms are now gone. Amazing spacing by these two. This is how you know from the loser's finals. A parry! Ooh! Still not enough! Amazing DI from uh, Chippy. 166. He is hanging on for dear life. And there is the star KO that ends this first match. DM takes it. As we move on to match two, I just want to let you all know that we are broadcasting live from Plainville, Massachusetts for 1UP Ultimate, Mondays at 7pm. You can watch it either here live on Twitch, or if you're new to the area, you can always show up. Maybe you have what it takes. I know I don't. <laughs> These are some very amazing players. Bring it, someone's bringing out, oh, maybe not, maybe not. The Metal Gear music. Sonic music? Should be with a fake out, I honestly thought they were going Sonic there for a minute, I was a little excited. Pikachu bringing out the birthday hat. Let's not celebrate too soon, though. Whew, those, those combos from DM are wild. I've never seen anything like that. DM attempting to use the thunder to um catch Chippy off guard. With the forward smash, unable to kill. But he's going deep. Oh, and with the and with that aerial, he's able to do it. Oh my goodness! Completely controlling. With the thunder too, that almost could have been a spike. That almost could have been a spike too. forward aerial. A parry from uh, DM. But is unable to parry them all, as they are now covered with ink and take more damage. The pummel into the um, up throw from Chippy, with a couple of uh, up aerials, just to try and see if they can knock out Pikachu. With the spike! Woo! DM is able to take that stock from Chippy. Oh, and Chippy does lose a stock though, trying to go a little too far for that KO. But Chippy does have two stocks to spare. 
is now... DM is now a little bit inked. Should be at 107 and DM at 28. DM up by one stock. And, ooh, almost. Nice tech. Amazing tech from uh, Chippy. Amazing DI from Chippy. Chippy refuses to go down. Even at 154. And with the up throw, DM takes match two. But this is the best out of five. So there is always the possibility that Chippy comes back. The music counter pick once more. Ah, uh, the target theme from Melee. Now that's a good choice. Oh, oh, DM bringing out Pyra Mithra. And Chippy bringing out Falco potentially? Oh my goodness. This is a completely different matchup. I've never seen uh, competitive Pyra Mi or Mithra either. I've not really kept up with competitive Smash in a while. Chippy apparently bringing out the big guns with Falco. Wow. With the taunt? Oh, with the taunt! Oh my goodness. Going into uh, Pyra. Gets the spike! Oh, this is going to be a fun match, ladies and gentlemen. Going back into uh, Pyra. Almost. Is able to make it back to stage, and with the back aerial, gets a stock taken. They are currently about equal, and going into uh, Mithra. This is a very strong game from these two. Oh, in the footstool! Chippy's not here to play anymore. Going into Pyra. Using the um, neutral special from Pyra. Yeah, I'm trying their best to get that prominence revolt. But Chippy, not easily letting up. Ooh, that was a really good attack from uh, Pyra. With another really good attack from Pyra. High percent, you do not want to mess with Pyra. With the parry! Ooh. Another forward, um... Forward aerial from Falco. Is able to take a stock by sheer knockback. Wow. Not even the little animation. It's going into um, Mithra. Trying to get some quick damage on uh, Chippy. Going into Pyra now. Let's get some even... Uh, Ooh, and with that, DM takes the loser's finals and moves on to the grand. The grand finals. Good performance from those two.
Once again, before the Grand Finals begin, I just want to mention one more time that we are broadcasting live from Plainsville, Massachusetts for 1UP Ultimate every Monday on Twitch at 7 p.m. EST. Thank you very much to everyone who has currently joined, and I hope everyone is more than excited for this um, for the Grand Finals tonight. DM going Pikachu for this first match as Axiom brings out his fabled Kazuya. Let's see what happens. This is the grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. This is where things get fun. We have seen Axiom's Kazuya absolutely tear through the winners. And DM has been making an amazing comeback in the losers. This is... Wow. That was a good starting combo from uh, DM. But Axiom ain't going down that easy. There's something I know about Axiom. He loves his Thunder Fist. I'm so ready to see more of him. Pikachu currently at 0 damage while Kazuya is at 88. Ooh, with the parry! Already at 100% and is already able to use the upgraded down special. Gets another parry. How's he getting the side special? Come on. I I I I'm just I I'm just looking forward to the upgraded uh, down special. It's one of my favorite moves because it looks like it hurts, but it will no longer happen because now Kazuya has been knocked out of that little state. Pikachu only at 45, while Kazuya is up to 159. And with that, DM takes a first stock. How is this happening? Thank you very much, Thinking Emoji, for the follow. It's greatly appreciated. With the throw. A little bit of comboing from a DM right there. Into the back throw from Kazuya. Pikachu once again going for that. Another down, um, or back throw, excuse me, from Kazuya. And, and trying to get the, um, the up special. Ooh, not enough, though. That was a very good down air from Kazuya, though. But with that little kick, that's a stock off of Pikachu. Currently two, to, uh, currently two stocks each. Axiom now up to 95, while Pikachu is back down to zero. Both having amazing pressure. Both playing the neutral very well. Kazuya back at his little, uh, his little power form. Let's see if he'll do it once more. Oh, there it is! Not enough knockback, though, but it's satisfying to watch at any time. Kazuya making it back to the stage. Tanks that, uh, forward smash with his shield. Pikachu up to 77%. That is almost kill percent, especially if you're going against Kazuya. The Thunder Fist! I love that move. There it is. Kazuya making it back to stage once more. Ooh, but with the dash attack, gets the screen KO. Axiom now on his last stock, while DM is at two stocks, but once again, at 107. 
any strong enough move can take out this Pikachu. Kazuya is known for his strong moves. And Pikachu is also known for his insane comboing. Ooh, is, is that... Almost! Oh, the stage spike, get it back! No! First round goes to DM. Very impressive for both players. We're moving on to uh, match number two. Both playing the exact same characters, Pikachu and Kazuya, once more. If DM does win this, this will reset the bracket. And I think that might be what he's going for. It's easy. <laughs> I mean, obviously both players are here to win. But the amount of pressure DM is putting on uh, Axiom is absurd. Alright, with, um, with the throw. Into the Thunder Fist. Unable to do much else from that, but that is A-OK. -okay. That is at least damage. He, uh, he is powered up, so at any moment, it could come out. Oh, and the stage spike from Kazuya. He's knocked out of that little powered up form, though, but that is A-OK, -okay, because he's currently at the stock advantage. Never mind. They are now tied stockwise. Pikachu firing as many neutral specials as physically possible, but going into the Thunder Fist from Kazuya. Kazuya trying his hardest to build some pressure, going for the throws. Another Thunder Fist. I will say it. Another Thunder Fist. I will say it every single time it happens. It's one of my favorite moves. Because if you get a combo of those going, Kazuya becomes amazing. Pikachu once more is laying on pressure with um, the neutral specials. Oh, the parry! Kazuya doesn't need to be worried about a shield a little bit, but that is a... Star KO. Throw from Kazuya into the Thunder Fist, into the back air. Almost goes for that spike and almost gets it too. Um, who is on losers? That is DM. DM is currently, um... On the loser side, and Axiom is on the winner side. So if DM gets this, there will be a bracket reset. Kazuya is currently powered up, I believe. Yes, he is. Also, hello. And with that, Axiom takes that match, uh, bringing us up to 1-1. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining. It was great having you all here for this amazing night of Smash. Going to Northern Cave or Small Battlefield? And of course, they're picking the music. Please, what music? Give it, give it, give us a good one. Give us a good one. Those who fight further, maybe. Those who fight from uh, Advent Children, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, DM's bringing out Pyra and Mithra against Axiom's Kazuya once more. Oh my goodness, I was taking a drink, but Pyra are... No, that, that's Mithra, my mistake. Mithra already coming out swinging. 
up to 40% uh, to Axiom. 54 down to uh, Mithra. Now bringing in Pyra. Going back to Mithra. Thunder Fist from Kazuya into the up smash, but is not enough. Going into Pyra. Two heavy hitters are now here. Let's see if you can take who down first. Kazuya is, is powered up. And he's able to win that with the up special. That one stock at least. Up to 104%. And with the star KO, Pyra does take that stock. Now 0-0 zero, zero equal. Kazuya with a Thunder Fist. Ooh, and he got the um the takedown with the side beat. Another Thunder Fist. I will say it every single time it happens. I hope it gets annoying. With the Chroma Dust from uh Mithra now going into Pyra. That's a little dangerous. Pyra off stage is not a fun time. And with the screen KO from uh, Pyro, we are now 2-1. to one. Ooh, in the up special from Kazuya, bringing us back to 1-1. One, one. This could be anyone's match. Almost. Going for another one. Amazing shield pressure. Oh. Throw into the Thunder Fist. And with that, DM takes another match. I also do miss Smash for Link. I didn't play him too much, but he was a fun character. 2-1 to one in the Grand Finals. We are currently going to... We are currently going to... Where will they pick this time? Pokemon Stadium 2! Pyra Mitha vs. Kazuya once more. Let's see what happens this match. Both trying to get an estimate of each other and how they're going to space this round. Oh, the Chroma Dust. Mithra definitely starting some combos here. Also at 0% currently as Kazuya is at 68. Now down to 12. 82 from Kazuya. Kazuya is now powered up. And Pyra is on the field with that amazing neutral special. Mithra is back on the field. Nope, back to Pyra. Thunderfist from Kazuya. Oh, he's, he's trying stuff. Oh, and he is sadly running out of that little power. But that is A-OK, -okay, because he can still make it back his own way. Pyra trying to get uh, some extra damage with that side special, but it did not work. Ooh. That is a stock off of Kazuya. Mm. Mithra is starting to do some comboing. That's what Mithra does. The Chroma Dust. Getting Kazuya off stage, but he's able to recover. DM is now uh, Pyra. Mm. 
And Kazuya is once again charged up. Will he be able to pull it off this time? One of my favorite moves in the game. That amazing, amazing down special. Can Axiom do it? Both have very high percentages. Ooh, in the up special from Kazuya taking a stock away. A Thunder Fist from Kazuya. This is a very close match. So it's getting a little hard to commentate. I'm that focused. But I will do my best. Ooh, and with the forward smash, that is another stock off of Kazuya. It is now two, two stocks to one stock. Ooh. A throw. Is that enough? That is enough to take out another stock. Now it is 0-0. Zero, zero. Once again, anyone's game. Mithra comboing, showing what she can do. Throw into the Thunder Fist from Kazuya. But will that be enough? Kazuya recovering low. And gets spiked by DM. That leaves us 3 to 1. But we're not done yet. That resets the bracket. Let me update that very quick for you all. And they're already going right back into it. Here we are into the bracket reset. Mithra once again showing how amazing she can combo. Oh, Thunderfist from Kazuya into the up smash. Not bad. Throw into Thunderfist to the back air. Bringing out Pyra, another throw, almost another Thunderfist. Down air by Pyra. Ooh, but it does get grabbed. Another throw. I'm so. Ooh, and the down air takes away that spike. And he was able to recover. Not bad. Not bad at all. Another throw into another Thunder Fist. Parry! Into another Thunder Fist. Into another throw! Bring it out. Um, he's bringing out Pyra. And another throw. Getting Pyra off stage as much as possible. Almost does. Ooh, but does get spiked by that Pyra. Very fun showing from these two. And with the dash attack, doesn't get it quite yet. But, sadly, Pyra does SD. Giving this round to Axiom.
And here we go on to round two. DM has brought back out Pikachu. Kazi is not powered up. Pikachu makes it back to ledge. Oh, and he almost gets the grab, but not quite. And with the thunder, that is a stock off Kazuya. Axum shaking it off. He's got this. That was a parry. We do love our parries. Kazuya once again powered up. It's a very close game from these two. Again, it's getting a little difficult to commentate from how... Um, how high pressure this is. Amazing showing from both fighters. Pikachu up to 103 as Kazuya is up to 136. And they clashed, yet neither go out. Ooh, Kazi with the up throw. And does take a stock off of Pikachu. The grab. And with the parry, too. Even though projectiles are not getting the Kazuya. Thunderfist into the um, up air. Ooh, into the whirlwind kick. And the throw. is That, that is enough. DM down to his last stock as Kazuya is now only two, uh, one stock ahead, but also at almost 200% and is still not out of here. I'm not sure how he's doing it, but that's incredible for doing so. Couple, uh, couple bits of the 10 hit combo. Ooh, and the down special. Racking up as much damage to Pikachu as possible. Pikachu does get the up throw, which does kill. 64 to 0, last stock each. Once again, anyone's game. With the throw. Ooh. A, this is a dangerous spot for both players. Another throw. And with the up special, Kazuya takes round two.
We're moving on to match number three. Where will they head? Town and city. Kazuya wants more. And Pikachu wants more. Oh, Thunder Fist. Almost gets him with that uh, down smash. Trying his best to do the uh, 10 hit combo, but to no avail. Almost gets Spike. Jeez, but that's super armor. It's a godsend. Into the throw. Ooh, the parry. Kazuya trying to get in there. That is an issue for Kazuya. He's only good up close. He does have a pretty good projectile, but Kazuya's main source of damage is up close. And Pikachu knows how to space very well. Constantly shooting out that uh, neutral special. Almost gets Kazuya with the thunder. Uh, roughly about equal each. 92 to 96. The three hits on the uh, 10 hit. With the up special, does not get rid of Pikachu though. The up air does not get rid of Pikachu though. 146 for Pikachu, but that gets rid of Pikachu. Now down to 2-3. But Pikachu does get that thunder. It's not enough to kill Kazuya, but it's a lot. Can Kazuya get the infamous uh, Night Power down? Not quite. And with that down smash, we are back to two stocks each. Both playing neutral very well. Kazuya going for the throw. Kazuya going for the uh, three punch. Into the up special. Completely read that um, that other up special. Pikachu still shooting projectiles. Parry! Still two stocks each. Another parry from Kazuya. He is having a lot of fun with those parries. And with that, Pikachu is down to his last stock. Can DM make this back? Or is this Axiom? Is this all Axiom? Pikachu able to make it back to stage. Kazuya also powered up. One more for good measure. Let's get one more down special for good measure. Oh, he gets knocked out of it. Not quite, but that's okay. He saw some other stock. It is now 0-0. Zero, zero. Again, anyone can make this back. Thunder Fist. Into uh, Ariel. Pikachu going for a lot of comboing. Applying some shield pressure. A Thunder Fist from Kazuya. Pikachu almost going for that spike, but was unable to land it. Amazing parry from uh, Kazuya. Um, up special from Kazuya, but not enough. And up air from Kazuya, but also not enough. Ooh, eh, but that is enough. 
And there we go. Is that game? This might be the end. They are getting up, so yeah, I believe we are done. I believe your winner is Axiom. Let's find out on the official bracket. It's done? It is done. Axiom wins! That is the end. Thank you all very much. Thank you for all who, who, very much. For all the uh, views, comments, and follows tonight. We all uh, we all here at One Up Games greatly appreciate it. We do hope you enjoy the commentary tonight. Big, big thank you to our new friend Jason Jett on commentary tonight. So hope you all liked it. Um, every Monday, 7 p.m., One Up Ultimate in Plainville, Massachusetts. Join us on stream, twitch.tv slash one underscore up up underscore games or come in person and compete for yourself any final words from you uh thank you all for having me this was so much fun i can't wait to be back here next week and i hope you all enjoyed see you next week and have a great evening everybody